Hi and welcome back to another video of JPlay. I am Marcus and no, this is not a deja vu. I'm doing a video of Great Western Trail again. But today I will do a solo playthrough using the solo variant by Will Gherkin, which you can find on Board Game Geek. And of course, I will put a link to the solo variant in the description of this video. In this solo variant, you're playing against an AI player. He's called Briscoe here. There is another solo variant on the Geek which lets you play against your best individual high score pretty much so there's no real opponent. I prefer to have a real opponent which is why I decided to use this solo variant here. So thanks Will for making this available to us. I'm using the pretty boring um, card deck so text only but there's also a German version by um, Angelika Fröhlich and there's also just or Justin Parker also provided some more nice looking cards which are pretty much based on the same rules of course. The setup of the game of the solo variant is pretty much the same as in a normal two-player game. As far as I understood, he's still tr trying to tweak his variant in order to accommodate for a three-player game, but right now that's two-player only. Yeah, I basically really followed the normal two-player procedure, so I randomly distributed those grey buildings here. I drawn the hazard tiles, the TP tiles, and also those... Um, train station tiles up there and I also populated the job market here. Right now there aren't any cowboys on the job market. Good thing is one cowboy is waiting up there in Kansas City. Good thing is in this solo variant I always get to choose which of those tokens get spawned to the board but of course as soon as the cowboy is there Briscoe may have a chance to hire him too. The game still ends when this token basically will be moved from the board then this would trigger the end of the game. Whoever does trigger the end of the game is allowed to keep their token which is worth two victory point but the other player then still gets one more action. Briscoe will always go first in this game which means we start the game with seven bucks instead of only six. As for Briscoe's player board he doesn't really fancy money or whatnot when he will build he will just build he doesn't need to spend any money any workers whatsoever he will just build those cards he will not pay for any black or green hands but still if he crosses one of our buildings we still get the money but we get it from the bank and yeah every point every victory point or every card that provides victory points will immediately go to his victory point stack up there and he doesn't need to complete those objectives in any form whatever is lying on this stack will be scored by the end of the game and always with positive numbers of course even though I already walked you through Great Western Trail, I will still explain you how this game actually works, but I will do that as I play. So I think without further ado, let's get started. As I mentioned, Briscoe, the red player, will always go first and he will start the game here at this horseman space. So he has to move right away. We can still choose when it's our turn where we would start. But I think I want to wait what he will be doing. And the first thing that you will always do is to draw one of his Automa cards here. And now we follow from top to bottom what's printed on that card. First of all, we would move him forward one. He always takes the shortest path to Kansas City. And in this case, he will simply move here to building number G. He's completely ignoring what's printed on those tokens. He will only do his action based on those AI cards. So this was pretty much the first action on that card. Next, we would move the train up to three spaces forward. And if the train is ahead of your train, stop at a station and gain the tile if possible. Right now, both of our trains are still in Kansas City. So he will simply move his train one, two, three spaces forward forward. If he would, let's say, draw a similar card again, then he would go to the station and try to claim that tile here, which can also provide him a lot of victory points by the end of the game. But this was pretty much his very first action. Now it's our turn and this is our starting hand. Keep in mind, this game is also kind of a deck builder. It has some deck 
building mechanisms built into that. So this is part of our so-called herd deck and we want to optimize our herd deck yeah, in order to get the most amount of money when we take those cards up to Kansas City. Right now we have those two jerseys, one Guernsey and one Dutch belt here. Those are pretty cool to be honest, but those jerseys are yeah, something that you really try to let's say get rid of as soon as possible and I think there is a good opportunity down here at house F or building F here which lets you pretty much discard two like card two jerseys in this case and therefore you would gain four bucks and then you could still remove one hazard tile for your paying seven gold I think I will not do the second part but I will go for this part so I will start my very first action keep in mind this is what you do in the very first round you really get to choose where you start and then you immediately jump into phase number B bay or phase B where you can then take the action so I will oops go there I will discard two cards that are similar in this case those two jerseys this will give me four bucks and as far as I can remember five bucks are one victory point by the end of the game so not really great I will not take the second action of that building so I will end my turn by drawing up to my starting hand of four one jersey another jersey wow this was really a downer yeah this was not a good redraw but of course we are still relatively early or pretty early on the trail to Kansas City so I think there should still be a way to get rid of one of those cards. Okay back to Briscoe let's see what his card says move forward based on current speed and his current speed is currently a three yeah you will be able to upgrade that much like in the normal two-player game or in the normal multiplayer game but of course he first have to make it to Albuquerque for example so for now he will simply move three spaces one two and three and this already the end of his turn so this time he didn't do anything bad to us okay back to us we also have a movement speed of three so in theory I could go all the way up there and build a house but I think right now I don't want to do that yet I could go here and go for some cattle but unfortunately I don't have a black two cow cannot quite remember what this is to be honest but I don't have it still getting cattle could be good at this point in time I don't have too many cowboys either so I could spend a lot of my money and I would definitely not be able to use this cow at the end of this round anyway when I make it to Kansas City because it always goes to my discard pile so I think in this case why not go there because this would also allow me to move up my train yeah let's do that so that's one and two and here I can take two actions the first of those actions is provides me an option so I could go either for moving my certificate marker one space down or I could go for another objective card ha huh. both is tempting to be honest but I think for now I want to move my object uh, my certificate marker down by one because this could really help me to improve the range or the value of my cattle when I make it to Kansas City and right now I'm not so sure which objective card I would go for so let's do that let's move that marker down one and with a second action I would be allowed to move my terrain up that many spaces as I do have engineers on my board right now I only have one engineer who is pretty much pre-printed on my player board here so I'm allowed to move my train one space ahead I haven't spent any of my herd or cattle cards in this case and unlike in other deck builders at the end of my turn I'm not discarding my full hand to my discard pile so I only drawing up to my hand size which is four at the start of the game so which is kind of a pity I still want to get rid of those jersey at least one jersey should be removed from my hand and be replaced by something different but right now that's not possible okay let's start the next round let's have Briscoe draw his next card and again he will move forward based on his current speed of three so he will really make a run for Kansas City and in fact he will now make it there right away no he will not he will not we are kind of lucky so he will move one two three spaces closer to Kansas City he almost made it only 
one space is missing. So during his next activation, he will most likely make it to Kansas City. Okay, back to our turn. And I think I do want to build a building next. So I will move here to building number B. What's printed? Black Pond up there. I could now discard a Dutch belt for two bucks, but I think I'm not going to do that because I will make it to Kansas City sooner or later as well. And right now I have a pretty good hand to be honest, and I don't need that money desperately at this point in time. So I will only take this action here, building a house and yeah, for every stage of a house that I'm building, I have to pay two bucks now. Right now, I only have one craftsman, so I can only build stage one buildings. Of course, I could also upgrade with one craftsman, but right now I don't have any buildings whatsoever. So stage one building it is, so I could go for this one, that one, or this one here. I had to choose the side of those buildings, so they are two-sided and show different, let's say, um, advantages on each of those. But Unlike in the, let's say, normal multiplayer game, I basically get to choose which side I take and Briscoe will always take the A side of his building because he's only after the points. Anyway, originally I was really thinking to go for this building here because this shows a green hand and whenever Briscoe moves over or let's say comes, lands on this space, the bank would give me two bucks in this case. But as he will be moving his terrain quite significantly in the game, I was really thinking of using the B side of that building here because for every jersey card or for jersey card which I discard, I would be allowed to move my terrain one space. And I could still, let's say, sell Dutch belt cows for three bucks instead of only two. So I think in this case, this could make sense and I still can use it during this turn. Yeah, so I will totally go for this building. Therefore, I will have to pay two bucks. And I think I want to build this building right here. So I definitely want to use it before I get to Kansas City. And yeah, I think this may be a good idea. Okay, back to Briscoe's turn. He will move forward one, so he will now make it to Kansas City. He will not bother going over my building because the shortest path is basically taking this route there. But we will still do the complete, um, let's say, card here. So we will move into Kansas City. Timing is not entirely clear for me, but I will do it before I do the normal procedures in Kansas City. This may be wrong. Maybe not. So I will now take the least expensive worker. If multiple to choose from, choose the top left most worker. In this case, this would be the engineer, which he will place on his player board. A normal player would now get the benefit here, but he doesn't really care about this. But he will be able to use those workers to claim those station master tiles. So that's really important for Briscoe. Okay, let's discard this card. And then let's do the first three steps in Kansas City. He will completely ignore steps four and five because he doesn't have a herd deck whatsoever. As I'm the solo player, I get to choose which of those tiles he will spawn. And I think right now I will have this tippy placed on the appropriate spot. You always start with the lowest value one, so right next to the blue tippy here. Then we move here. Again, I get to choose which of those workers I want to see. And in this case, I totally want to see a cowboy. So let's place it here. This will push the game end token further down. So this more or less will trigger the end of the game at some point in time. And last but not least, he will do it here and here doesn't really matter. So I will take one of those engineers and place it on the job market accordingly. Note, I can only hire workers that are above this yeah, virtual line of my game and token here. Then yeah, this was pretty much his last action in Kansas City. So let's grab Briscoe and place him back at the start of the trail. Of course, I still have to refill those spaces. So let's start with the number one tiles here. Oh, okay, it's, I think a landslide hazard. Let's take it another two tile. What is this? Oh, another cowboy, that's great. And then a three tile, this can be pretty much everything. I think hazards, TPs and or workers. And we see another cowboy. Okay, so maybe in this game we will go for a cowboy strategy. Interesting. 
Ha, but I nearly forgot, of course, he still has to place one of his white discs on his first city, which would be Colorado Springs in his case. I can take any of those white discs because it doesn't make any difference. Only the black uh, discs later on may make a difference because this will affect his movement speed ability. Okay, I think let's just grab this token and place it on Colorado Springs. So the next time he will make it to Kansas City, he will place his next disc on Santa Fe and then this ability would all would automatically trigger so he would get one of those objective cards and he will always take the highest scoring ones. Okay, back to us and right now there's a good chance to get a cowboy and I think that's definitely something I want to do now. So I will move here to the job market tile. I could now discard a Guernsey cow in order to get six, uh, two dollars but I think right now I can only afford one worker anyway so i think again i will skip this very first action here so i would simply hire one worker from the job market the first one doesn't come with any penalty so i simply have to pay what's printed here so that's six dollars so i will totally hire this cowboy and place him onto our player board I could do a second hiring action, but then I get a penalty of $2. So the next worker would cost me eight bucks because both of those rows cost six bucks as a base price. Okay, that was pretty much my action. Back to Briscoe. This is his card and that's, wow, that's a painful one. Move forward one, that's pretty much not a big deal. So let's move him here and then place the most valuable of Briscoe's building, 10A, 9A, 8A, etc. in the next space in front of you on the trail. So that's either here or there. Now it's really good that I still have an option so I don't have to pass through that building because this building shows a black hand so I would have to pay two bucks to the bank in order to pass this building but what's really worse news is that this building scores him 13 victory points so in total he already has 16 victory points because he has this 13 points here and three more points from his objective cards keep in mind he doesn't need to fulfill those he just scores those points then it's back to us. I could now go here, there or directly to Kansas City. But of course, the idea was to make it at least to this building. I think for now I will skip this building there. It's cool, but I think right now this is the better one. So I will move one, two spaces here. First thing, or I can do them in any order, but first thing I will do is to discard one of my jersey cards. And this lets me move one space here on the train track. Next, I can decide to discard a Dutch belt. And right now, Dutch belt is theoretically only worth two money, pretty much. So I think in this case, it could make sense to discard this card. So let's do that. So this would give me three more bucks. Okay, that's the end of the round. Let's draw up another Dutch belt. This is good. This is really good. And a black Angus. Well, this is the perfect hand to move into Kansas City because we are looking for different cows to bring to Kansas City because only different cows will be able to be sold on, in Kansas City. So this was really great. Okay, back to Briscoe. Move forward one, take the highest valued cattle card. Okay, moving him forward isn't a problem. And next he will go for the highest valued cattle card. And that's clearly this West Highland worth another five victory points. Wow, this is really starting to hurt, to be honest. Well, seems to be a pretty challenging solo variant. As I mentioned in the beginning of this playthrough, we will just put those cards right onto the top of his victory point stack. So he will just score those cards no matter what's printed on them. Okie dokie, now it's back to us. So let's move into Kansas City. I can now choose either or. I think I will go for the highest scoring hazard or landslide or rockfall. Rockfall tile, cannot quite remember. So let's grab it anyway. And let's place it on the track accordingly. So this can be a pretty costly journey through those mountains here. Let's continue. I think again, I will go for another cowboy. 
looks good that's good and here i'm not 100 percent sure yeah why not let's take another cowboy and place him on the track accordingly and then we would move into step number four and here i would evaluate my current hand of cards and right now those calls are cows are all different so i can score them all so in total that's seven bucks and i could now decide to spend those certificates to get one more dollar but i think right now that's not necessary so i will leave it at seven bucks pretty much so i get those coins right away but i keep them separate because the next step will now let me deliver my cows and i have now pretty much a range of seven and with a range of seven i could make it up to colorado springs i could go on any of those cities but i think right now colorado springs it is so i will take one of my black a white border discs here so this is black border disc this is a white border disc because colorado springs is also a white bordered city and ah, that's a good decision right now i think money could be a problem so i think i will go for this disc and we'll place it on colorado springs before we move our cowboy back let's replenish kansas city okay this is a drought i believe let's see for two another cowboy okay wow and then what do we have for three wow yet another cowboy okay wow cowboys aren't really a problem in this game it seems i remember playing this with my wife the other day and we literally only had i think two or three cowboys throughout the whole game so wow interesting okay let's move back to the start of the trail and then let's draw a new and for the next round okay two black angus those are those black cows interesting okay i think i will call it a day for now so so far we are not really doing good <laughs> but maybe that's how it is so the first let's say journey to kansas city always is not really great so as of the next journey up north you really start to do things that actually make sense he already collected at least what was it 16 21 victory points in total i'm at zero at this point no that's not true i have one victory point up here with that building but that's pretty much it so i really have to start doing stuff that actually makes sense i really hope you are enjoying my little solo playthrough of great western trail hope to see you soon in one of my other videos and yeah until then bye bye <laughs>